Hey saxophone players, I'm gonna tell you the top three things that you need to know before you get a new mouthpiece. So the first thing that you need to know is how bright or dark of a sound that you want. When we're talking about bright and dark as saxophone players, we're talking about the higher frequencies being more present in the bright sound and the lower frequencies being more present in the darker sound. <laughs> Once you know how bright or dark the sound you're going for is, you can choose the baffle on your mouthpiece. A higher baffle will give you that brighter sound, a lower baffle will give you the darker sound. Stick around until the end of the video because I have a bonus tip for you as well. There's a fourth thing that you should know before you get a saxophone mouthpiece, I'll let you know at the end. The second thing for you to know before you get a new mouthpiece is what kind of chamber are you going for? Are you looking for a small closed chamber or are you looking for a big open chamber? The biggest difference that this makes when you're playing saxophone is the resistance. It does affect your tone quality, but it's mostly the resistance. Those big open chambers are going to be more resistant. You're gonna need more air to put through the saxophone, but as a result, you're gonna get a lush, warmer tone out of it. The smaller chamber, it's gonna be more responsive, so you can get more sound out of your saxophone while putting less air through it. The third thing that you need to know before you get a new mouthpiece, and it's probably the first thing that you thought of when you were shopping for a mouthpiece, is what will your tip opening be? This is usually the number that's on the side of the mouthpiece or the name of the mouthpiece. Every mouthpiece company numbers their mouthpieces differently, so a size 8 of one brand might not be a size 8 of another brand. What you really need to look at is what is the tip opening. Tip openings are measured in inches, and all of the tip openings are just a fraction of an inch. So when we're talking about a 110 tip opening, that's just a fraction of an inch. That's still a bigger opening than an 80 tip opening. The biggest difference that your tip opening makes is the amount of resistance you get when playing. If the tip opening on your mouthpiece is big, you're gonna have to put more air through that saxophone in order to get the same results. The difference though is that you're gonna get a bigger sound out of your saxophone, so that might be what you're going for. What you need to know is that when you use a mouthpiece with a larger opening, you're gonna wanna use a softer reed with it. If you use the same reed that you've been using with your classical mouthpiece, it's not going to work quite as well because that reed will be way too hard and it won't be vibrating the way it needs to in order to play on that larger tip opening. If you're playing a smaller tip opening and you feel yourself trying to get more air into the saxophone but it's just not working, that's when you know you should be going to a larger tip opening. So there's actually one more thing for you to know before you go and get that mouthpiece. You need to know what is the facing curve that you're looking for. There are short facings, there are medium facings, and there are long facings on mouthpieces. Each one is different and it is a matter of preference again. The longer facing is going to give you a lush sound. It's going to emphasize those lower frequencies. It's going to be not as responsive, but it's going to give you the sound you want if you're going for that kind of lush, full sound. That shorter facing on the mouthpiece is going to help you in the higher frequencies. It's going to make that mouthpiece play very responsively. And if you're going for that kind of sound, it's going to help you there. Mouthpieces have a huge impact on saxophone players' sounds, so it makes sense to spend a lot of time learning about them and just knowing what you're getting into when you buy a new mouthpiece. So I wanna hear what you actually have to say about your mouthpieces, your experiences. There's a comment section below this video. Let's talk.